welcome once again to Some Good Seeds. Pastor Wayne Hathaway here to share some thoughts with you, a good seed that to plant in, uh, in all of our hearts that I think will be a blessing and a help to us today as we continue to walk and serve the Lord. So, uh, Jeremiah 48 and 49, Psalm 67, and 1 John chapter 1, and it's from that first chapter of uh, John's epistle that I want to just draw some thoughts today. Uh, chapter 1, verses... Well, really one through four, but I, I just want to focus primarily on uh, verse number one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. Wow. Uh, there, is, there is in uh, these four verses much, much more than I could ever begin to uh, unpack or even imagine here. Of course, John is talking about Jesus, that which was from the beginning. Uh, beginning of what? Well, it seems pretty obvious that he's talking about creation, of course. So when, when did that all begin? Well, Paul clearly tells us in Colossians that Jesus was there. He declares that. And, and what has happened with that? Well, John says, we have heard him. He is the living word of life. That life was manifested to him and to the other disciples, and they in turn were declaring it wherever and whenever they could. And of course, we know from the book of Acts uh, early on that, well, all through the book of Acts, that brought problems for them because there were a people who didn't want to hear that. And so uh, they were often uh, persecuted, beaten, uh, even killed for their faith because they declared it, and they did declare it in order that all who heard might have opportunity to believe and then have fellowship with each other and with the Father and without the Son. And with the Son. So without the Son, there, there's no fellowship because there's nothing to fellowship around. If, if Jesus didn't come, if he didn't die, if he had not risen from the dead, then what's the point of all of it? We might as well just make a club and have a good time. Those qualities that, that bring us together bring us together because of what Jesus has done. He is the living word of God. And so when fellowship takes place, then there is this, there is this completeness of our relationship of, of joy, of life, because of the one who made it all happen. And that's Jesus. Without his sacri sacrificial death, without his resurrection from the dead, none of it would be possible. He is the foundation. He is the glue, if you will, that holds it all together. That's Jesus. That's the one that we proclaim. That's the one that we love. He is from the beginning, and we love him because of his greatness and his love for us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for coming. Amen. We bless the Lord and give him praise today, and may you be richly blessed as you do so. Amen. <music>